Hello everybody, here we are for our next podcast. I know that you know when people pass that they cross over, they go through the veil, we call it the veil between the worlds, and they're in the, another vibration, another dimension. And I believe if you're listening to these podcasts, you actually know that. And you might know it intuitively, but you also might know it from what you've read about this. Today I just wanted to talk a fair bit about uh, talking to them and um, what results you can get from talking to them. The first thing to realise is once they die and cross, they'll often go to the healing rooms, and in the healing rooms it's like where they debrief and talk with some guides, and there will be people there, spiritual people, to help them to resolve some things or to heal. If they've died and the death was very traumatic, or maybe it was quick, maybe they died in a car accident and were out of their bodies and almost didn't realise that they'd died, They'll also go to the healing rooms to settle down. Now, people could stay in the healing rooms for a very short time or really long time. Sometimes <laughs> really stubborn ones will be in the healing rooms for years because whatever they're supposed to come back and done or fixed up, they won't do it and until they sort of almost learn their spiritual lesson on the other side. They can't go to the next lesson that they have to do or life they have to do. So they get a little stuck in there. However, having said that, you can still talk to people, whether they're in the healing rooms or, or out. Remember, they don't have a body anymore, they're just spirit, and they don't have a time concern because there's no time. Therefore, they can be in different places at different times, and they can do what we call this bilocate. So they can be at your mum's house, your house, and a friend's house, all at the same time. Often when they pass, they'll go and visit someone. I've just done a reading with somebody who wants to talk to her dad, and when I spoke... Uh, it's made clear that one of the person who passed, his friend, saw him in his house. And just after he died, he actually saw him there. So he came to say goodbye to his friend, so they can do that. The hardest part about it is if you can't see them. Now, some people do have that, I think it's an absolute blessing, when they actually physically see the person. And other people actually hear the voice. My father heard my mother's voice. My friend Bob, he heard Margaret's voice. They can actually have a physical manifestation of that. However, not everyone gets it, and for the most part, most people don't. And that's why I wanted to do this podcast, to make you realise that they're actually there. If you just think it's just a veil between you and them, they're there. And the reason we don't think they're there is because we can't look into the veil. It was explained really nicely to me a while back that we can, they can look through the veil at us very easily, quite clear, but we have trouble looking where we're standing through the veil to them. And I thought that was a really, really good way to explain it. So the trouble is that you're not being able to sense them or feel them, not that they're not particularly there. And that's where people like mediums are really useful because they will actually rather call in the person, talk to them, and then tell you and transmit the information. You can talk to them all the time, and you can actually even resolve things from the other side. For example, if your mum died and it hadn't been resolved, you can actually do a little quiet thing where you sit and put them in front of you in your mind's eye, see them there, and then have a little chat to them and resolve it and say you were sorry for this or you forgive them or whatever the it's a situation that didn't get resolved in human life. You as a human can talk to them in spirit life. You can also ask them to help you. For example, if you're having money problems, you can ask them to help you with that. You can ask them to help with your, with your kids. You can ask them to help them with family problems. Um, with meeting somebody if you want to meet a partner it's really important to know that even though they haven't got a body the relationship's still there and the love you shared is still there you can ask them for all these things and they will do the best that they can I've actually seen it where people have gone like shopping <laughs> for partners here like on the other side they're looking down thinking oh maybe him or yeah I think it's him and then they get them to me so you can ask them to help you with a partner, find a partner, and or help you with your business. Sometimes the information will come in in a normal way. You'll wake up and just think, oh, I need to do it that way, or no, I think it's better I do this, and that's, they would have downloaded that to you. Often they do that at night when you're asleep, because you can get out of your body and have a chat to them and just get back in your body. They'll also come through dreams, as you know. You'll dream about them. Usually it wasn't a dream particularly if it was something where you were just sitting with each other, that's usually a meet. They come to meet you. And I think 
it gives a lot of solace and comfort to know that they're always with you. Most of them will be with you when you cross. So mothers, fathers, sisters, uncles, friends. When you cross over and you've gone through the tunnel, then you will see them there and they will be there to greet you and say hello and um, have a little chat. So you'll meet them later. But it's comforting, I think, for some people to know that their dad will be there or their mum or their partner or their sister, that they can tell you that they will actually be there for you. They can also help to make things manifest even if you don't ask. Sometimes you will be thinking you wish you could have that ring in the jeweler's shop and then somebody will buy the ring and give it to you, but it's actually them. They whisper in someone else's ear. So they have a lot of power on the other side to help you. Don't think you can't ask. Keeping attached to them is not a bad thing. Some um, psychic people say it is, but I don't believe that. I feel while there's the attachment and the continuation of what it's meant to be, because remember you are spiritually linked to them, energetically linked to them, you know, soul to soul. Therefore, if you are still talking to each other, it's supposed to be like that. I've actually seen people who've died on the other side holding the new baby who's coming in with the pink outfit or the blue. They always tell me that because I'm not very good at choosing the sexes. I always just feel the energy that it's more masculine or feminine. But they will actually send the new people in. And sometimes they, if you see them, you might even get the sense that any pets are with them as well. So a pet passes over, it goes to them. I encourage you to talk to them all the time. If you haven't resolved some things, talk to them as well about that and ask for them to resolve it and settle it and maybe forgive is important. Sometimes we don't have that in the human world because we couldn't resolve it, whereas we can do that work if, if they've passed. I think you just if it's a bad situation, you just have to get past the anger and the hurt before you can do the forgiveness thing. But it's good to forgive because it sort of releases you from them and them from you. You don't have to carry that into any other lives that you have. I encourage you to try and see them like in your mind's eye. Your ability to see might be quite strong and you might actually get a time where you actually see them. I've had it where people have told me they've actually seen these people and then you can talk to them more clearly. I mean, it's a wonderful validation. But I'm just telling you that they are there. Often they're in the car next to you, they're in your bedroom and they're in the kitchen, they're sitting, still sitting in their chair. And often children will see them and that's a beautiful verification too because a child will know and just see them. And animals will often, they sense that they're there, they'll be looking at the corner and you're thinking, oh, they're probably standing there. Keep your communication with them strong. It also helps to encourage your psychic gift and keep your third eye open. And this is a good thing because you might pick up when other people's past relatives are around and be able to give messages which gives comfort as well. We don't lose them. We just change vibration. That's all it is. And they can easily vibrate down into our vibration. It's a bit harder for us to vibrate up into their vibration. I would ask if they could would mind to manifest for you so you can see them. Just ask. You might be lucky. And or sense them. I usually see them in my mind's eye. And I know where the energy is. I can feel where the energy is in the room. And you might be the same. And some people get like a cold shiver and some people get like a, like a tingling and that they know that they're around, like goosebumps, I suppose. Enjoy reconnecting. If you haven't been talking to any people on the other side, maybe you'd like to start talking to them again. I think it's important to continue these relationships even though they're not in the same worlds. But the veil is just a veil. And once you understand that you're the one having trouble looking through the veil, not them, it'll make it a bit clearer just for you. Enjoy your week. Enjoy knowing that your loved ones are still with you and they haven't left you. And that in itself is a great comfort, I think, for many, many people. And knowing that you will meet them when you cross is an even better comfort, I think, to know that you have to look forward to, to see them again. I'm sending you lots of love and lots of light and I hope you get some connections.